Despite curfew in parts of Imphal, protests continue unabated in Imphal. Now, the Imphal West DC complex has been attacked, while two four-wheelers, in fact, which were parked inside the DC campus, were also set ablaze. The CCTV cameras uh, have been destroyed and the Manipur Fire Brigade team arrived at the spot and prevented the fire from spreading in the campus buildings. My colleague uh, Teshri joins us live with more information on this. Teshri, a fresh round of violence in Imphal. What exactly triggered this? DC's office has been attacked, vehicles have been burnt. What's going on in Manipur? Well, right now the situation in Imphal is very much tensed. Earlier the situation was very much tensed in the hilly areas back in few months, but now the situation is very much tensed in the in, this, in Manipur's Imphal city particularly. And this violence started from Tuesday when the pictures of two students, two couple, where pictures of two students went viral on social media. They were killed, and as if now they they are accused. The killers have not been arrested. However, continuous demand has been made by the protesters that as soon as possible the accused should be arrested. However, after the protesters started protesting in Imphal city, the, there was a statement that came from the side of the Banipur government that stated that already uh, they, the, the case has been transferred to the CBI and in collaboration with state government and the central agencies, the investigation is underway. Remember that a 12-member team of the Central Bureau of Investigation uh, had reached yesterday to uh, Manipur, Imphal and the investigation had begun. But yes, fresh violence is not stopping in Imphal city. We have seen the visuals where the uh, where, where the BJP offices are uh, vandalized, where the BJP offices are set ablaze, the cars are being vandalized and in fact this is not for the first time that Manipur is witnessing such kind of protest or in fact the BJP offices are being vandalized. Earlier also this kind of protest uh, happened. But as of now, these groups are demanding, number one, the resignation of a Manipur chief Chief Minister and number two, they are demanding that certainly strict action should be taken against the accused who were involved in the killing of these two students. Also, remember, this is noteworthy that after this incident took place, pictures went viral on social media. Uh, internet, uh, internet was again, uh, internet was once again suspended in Manipur in, uh, in in the major parts of Manipur. Earlier, internet ban was lifted. After a, after a long back internet ban was lifted, but now again, uh, assuming that, as in, in fact, witnessing the situation is very much critical and it could turn very much volatile by the visuals and the protests that we're uh, seeing right now. That is why internet has been suspended once again. Number two, that is we have to keep in mind is that entire Manipur area has been now, uh, has been now termed as a disturbed zone apart from the 18 police stations. Now, of course, people staying there are also raising questions, several groups are raising question that why these 18 police stations or why these specific 18 areas are not being included in the disturbed uh, area of Manipur. However, we need to see that how the situation uh, will be taken under control with the help of central and state uh, forces. But as of now, yes, CBI, the team of CBI had reached to the Manipur and investigation is underway. But situation still remains to be very much concerning and volatile in Manipur.